Hello and what's up everyone? Welcome back to another computer sluggish tutorial. Okay, so today we're going to take a look at Rain Meter. Okay, so I've never actually really used this program myself. I installed it, well, I did actually install it a couple of years ago, so I have technically kind of used it, but to me that doesn't really count because I'm sure there's going to be a lot of changes now. So, let's go straight to my desktop and let's just try out Rain Meter then. Let's see what it's all about lately. Okay, so as you can see, we've got the option here to download 3.3. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and download that now. And they do have a beta coming soon. Okay, so that's pretty cool. Right, so once you've downloaded Rain Meter, up top right hand corner here, we're going to select the .exe and we're going to run it. Okay, so I'm going to go OK and I'm going to go Standard Installation. I'm actually going to install it to my D drive. Okay, I can't select D drive, so I'm going to install it to my C drive then. <laughs> Right, okay, so we're now going to run the rain meter. Okay, right. Wow, so. So we got a little welcome here. Just saying, obviously, finding skins and stuff. Right, so that's cool. Let's just leave that to the side there for a second. And in the top right hand corner here, we've got the date. We've got our system. And we've got our disk drives. Okay, so that's pretty cool. So, yeah, so Saturday, which it is. And, yeah, it is <laughs> quarter to ten in the morning. And CP usage, 9%. RAM usage, 40%. And swap usage, 26%. And we got C and D drives there. Okay, so that's pretty awesome. Right, so I'm going to actually right click now and, okay, so, yeah, right. So let's go on to settings. So you can select here if, wow, well, where you want the position. So if you want it to always stay on top, so let's just move it down here. Okay, so, um, where was it? Okay, so position, see, oh, that's cool. You can actually select which monitor you want it to display on. Stay on top most, so <laughs> stay top most means that no matter what, it will always be on top. So, for instance, if I put that here, it's gone actually behind my taskbar. Okay, so if I actually set it to stay top most that should technically now go above there you go look at that because basically the windows taskbar i don't know if you know this but a little bit of information for you the windows taskbar actually is set to top most constantly it's always on top regardless of what application or anything you run okay obviously games they go into full screen so they do actually end up going over but yeah Okay, so that is actually pretty impressive, but if you watch here, as I say about Windows Taskbar, so if I click on there, it actually does hide behind it for a second, because it's topmost does beat it, but they've obviously got some sort of timer or something that's constantly making sure that it's actually on top. But anyway, let's get away from that, and let's get back to a uh, rain meter. Right, so let's right click again and let's see what else we got here. Transparency. Okay, that's pretty cool. Right, so let's go on to the manage. Okay, so here we can actually manage our skins. So active skins. Okay, so we got a clock, we got our disk drives, we do have our system out, and we got the welcome out. That is correct indeed. Okay, so oh we got Google here. So let's load that. Okay, so is that gone in yet? No? Okay, that should have loaded. Um, yeah, that, that should be loaded somewhere. Oh, there it is, up in the top left here. That's pretty cool. So if I go onto Google and if I type in test and press enter, oh wow. That, that is cool. I like that. 
that's a really good idea actually okay so you can actually search Google from your very desktop okay that's pretty nifty right let's go back on to manage skin okay so obviously this is where you can add things and remove things from your desktop so we've got network so let's just load that okay that's pretty cool so we got my IP address up there and we got our download and upload speed okay right so let's just unload that for a second and let's load our recycle bin okay so that tells you how many items you actually do have in your recycle bin okay so we might as well unload our welcome screen there okay so yeah that that is pretty cool so if we go on to okay so as you can see yeah so that is one pack okay so if we actually open up oh let's open up our welcome again okay so let's load that and go find skins okay so let's change that from topmost under settings position normal okay right so discover so on here we should potentially be able to find some skins okay so let's go on to this option here okay right okay so we've got skins on the bottom right hand corner here I believe this is actually just a gallery I don't think you can download here I'm not too sure okay so obviously that's a different skin there I will put the download links in the description obviously for skins and that saves you lot trying to actually find it all okay so that's pretty cool there's a nifty little calculator there that you can download that's that's really cool calculator actually that looks quite nice okay so power options so there is actually a lot of stuff that you can do on this rain meter yeah there is a lot of stuff by the looks of things so yeah that is pretty cool and obviously the best thing about it it's free can't complain with that you really can't complain with that okay so as you can see yeah so there's lots of stuff let's just take a look so wow look at that you can have all that down there and he's even got down the bottom there his games graphics media he's got lots of options there should we zoom that in for a second so yeah that that's really cool that shows the true potential of what you can do with this rain meter so yeah so that is it I'll put all the links in this in the description if you liked this little tutorial tutorial slash look at rain meter um, yeah hit that like button and subscribe for more Windows tutorials right take care everyone